Okay, so this is how to get FFmpeg for Windows 10. So first of all, let's download a version of FFmpeg. So open up a web browser and you want to go to this address and I'll drop this in the description. So it's ffmpeg.zerano.com slash builds slash. Hit enter. And what we're going to do is we're going to select our version. So version 4.1.3 and our architecture. So it's Windows 64 bit and we want a static build. So once you have those selected, just click download build. So now that it's finished downloading, let's just right click and click show in folder. And let's get rid of the web browser because we don't need it anymore. So we have this package that we need to unzip. So double click on that and it will open up your unzipping client. So I'm using pzip here and we want to just extract this file. So extract it and let's pick, let's not extract it to downloads. So let's extract it somewhere else. So let's just open that and let's click this computer and let's just extract it here. So to the C drive and just click select folder and okay. And we're done. So let's just close that now and you can delete this file if you want now. So just delete that. And now let's just navigate to where we extracted that folder. So this computer, double click on local drive and it's up here. So it's FFmpeg 4.1.3. So we can rename this right now. So let's just right click on this and let's just rename it to FFmpeg. And we want to open this folder. So just hit enter and you want to open this bin folder. So double click on that. And here is our version of FFmpeg. So what we want to do now is we just want to copy the path to this directory or this folder. So just click up here in the address bar, right click and copy that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add this folder to our system path. And what that allows us to do is it allows us to use FFmpeg without having to put in the full path to this folder where FFmpeg lives. So to do that, all we need to do, just hit the Windows key and type in env. So env. And you want to click on this here, which is edit the system environment variables. If that doesn't come up, just hold Windows key and press R and type in system properties advanced.exe. And that's all camel case. So it's capital S system capital P properties capital A advanced dot exe and just hit enter. So you should have a system properties window that looks like this. And what you want to do is you want to come on down here and click on environment variables. So click on that and you want to click on path. So your path variable here. So you can double click on it or just highlight it and click edit. So now what we want to do is we want to add our folder to this variable. So we can just click new and then right click and paste. So there's the path to where our FFmpeg is and just click OK. So now that that's added, we should be able to just open up a command prompt window and type in FFmpeg. But there's one more thing that we need to check and that is under system variables here. So if we just scroll down, what we're looking for is path extensions. So this over here and we just want to make sure that exe is a value for this variable and it is. So if you don't have this system variable, you're going to have to create it. So to do that, just click new and then type in the variable name. So this is all caps. So it's path ext and under the variable value, press full stop exe and that's all caps as well. And you can add the rest if you want. Just remember that they are semicolon separated. So it'll be dot exe semicolon dot com and it's all caps semicolon and so on and so forth. But I'm going to cancel it because I already have that variable. So that's all done. And all we need to do now is click OK. And let's just get rid of this window and we can close this now. So now all you need to do is open up a command prompt. So CMD hit enter and you should be able to just type in FFmpeg. And if you get something that looks like this, you now have FFmpeg running on Windows 10. So let's test it. So let's just CD to my desktop because 
I have a, sorry, not LS, it's DIR. I've got a video file here. So let's just go to that video file and right click on it and click properties and details. So you can see it's a 4K video clip. So let's scale it down to 1080p. So we're going to type in FFmpeg dash I and the name of the clip, which is PEX video and dash VF scale. And our scale is going to be 1920 colon minus one. And now let's just select our output encoder. So dash C colon V and let's do lib X two, six, four. And let's set a QP value of that to 16 and our output file name now. So let's call it test vid dot MP four and hit enter. And we're done. So if we just right click on our test vid here and click properties and details, it should be 1080p, which it is. So 1920 by 1080. And let's just try and play it. And it plays fine. So there's one other thing that I just want to go over. So let's just type in FFmpeg. So if we have a look at the build configuration flags here, you'll notice that we've got enable NVENC. So NVIDIA's NVENC is actually enabled in this static build. So if you have a current NVIDIA graphics card, you can use the hardware accelerated codecs, such as H.264 and H.265 NVENC encoders. Okay, so that's how to install FFmpeg in Windows 10. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please don't forget to drop a like on it as it really helps the channel out. And don't forget to subscribe. So thanks for watching and goodbye.